Welcome back, sports gamers. It's the natural sports gamers online.com. EA has provided another update to the Madden 23 franchise. Cloud saves issue and reveal what I am calling the handout. This recent update was supposed to be a positive thing and something good, saying that hey, since only 2% of you guys were affected as they claimed, you're all going to get your franchises back, which is not what happened. Like I said in the previous video, if you guys attended, I have five leagues and three of them were affected and none of them were recovered. And so we were hoping that we would get those back. But unfortunately, we're learning today that the teams involved did manage to restore a limited, a limited amount of franchise saves via backup. Unfortunately, those restored so far are the only ones that can be restored, period. So if you go to unlock your, uh, check your franchise and it's not up, that's it. It's gone. It's toast. It is kaput. So this is not a rollout process where we're, we're going to see uh, leagues being restored over time. It's over. Th that is the quote unquote two percent so i would love this here in the comment section below for you guys how many people were affected how many actually got their franchises back because i don't know anyone that got their franchise saved i don't know anyone and i know for a fact from the timeline of events when they told us things were good you know it's back up things are working those franchises that listened to them and actually got on to access franchise mode are the ones that all got their franchises blew up. So that doesn't give much confidence to EA. They're now saying, hey, start a new franchise is good from here. I mean, I know many players who are scared of starting a new franchise online because it just might happen again. But EA came out with a statement saying that those who had this concern, um, the issue that occurred was a result of a highly unlikely set of combined circumstances leading to file server storage reaching max capacity, util un unutilized legacy code corrupting access leaks, while at the same time, process errors led to almost all available backups getting deleted in an attempt to correct the original problem. So in other words, this was the perfect storm of fuck ups. So first of all, not having enough storage, uh, and I'm, I'm someone who comes from the, uh, with an IT background, so not having enough storage, and then not having reliable backups. I mean, this that's like systems engineering, that's like 101. Like I know people that have gotten walked out the same day for a situation like this. And I hope someone, I hope some people did lose their jobs for this. I mean, this is a major loss of consumer confidence and data, like cherished data that people put hours, days, weeks, months into that got lost and that it's just it's just terrible like I'm, I'm i'm happy that larger outlets finally picked this story up last week because it was quiet and that just shows you the amount of power and influence that ea has that they were probably scared to even run the story like how we were running it you know and, and telling the truth to you guys directly because you know they have that outreach they have that power they have those influencers who are going to always you know shed a positive light on everything and not give you guys the real truth so <clears throat> so realizing there's no recovering lost time for players, EA revealed how it plans to make up for this shortcoming. First, they promised uh, its acceleration on work on a set of tools aimed at giving players more control over their franchises. These commissioner tools coming in the future will allow players to customize leagues, setting up in a unique and novel ways for their own and others' enjoyment. Design work has already begun on a future set for future Madden titles. EA tends to share more details on the commissioner tool features and the timeline of coming months. So they're promising us features that we should have already, we've been asked for community commissioner tools. They've added some, they've added some features now that you can, you know, when commissioner tools over the past couple of years, but this is not really a checkbox where you're gonna get kudos for doing something which should have been in the plans designs already. I mean, we've already been asking for a lot of these commissioner tools and uh, and customizations and more relocations and more uh, customizations of our teams and customizations of our uh, equipment and all the things that they have in MUT and other modes that we don't have in franchise mode. Like we've been already been asking for that. So promising to give us things we already wanted in the past is not really, I can't give you a thumbs up for that one. Moving on to the next one. All impacted franchise players will receive an invite to access to the Madden NFL 24 closed beta. <sighs> the invite is good for registration to access the closed beta on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S consoles only. Which, okay, I mean, 
I get access to the beta. I mean, as long as you pretty much play the game and when the link goes out, you know, click on the link and sign up. I mean, I've, I, it's hard for me to say I've never not get a beta. I've always shared it with uh, our issue inside uh, uh, um, co contributors who always got to the beta. So I didn't know it was a hard thing to get in the beta. So I guess, I guess a half check box for that one. Okay. For people who struggle to get in the beta every year, this will be good for them. Okay, sure. Uh, and lastly, all impacted players who lost progress due to this issue will receive a 50% discount on Madden 24. This one in which I call the hashtag the handout. So this one is, ah, I know a lot of people were saying that, you know, they made great points. Uh, uh, some of folks on Twitter saying that they already give away thousands of codes for free every single year to launch the game. Why would we not get it for free completely? Um, and especially, especially if you're saying you claim only 2% of people are affected as you claim, that's a small amount of people to be giving the game for free, right? That that wouldn't hurt your bottom line. If it's that, if it's, it's what you claim is only 2% are affected by this, then that's a that's a small, you know, maybe a couple of hundred thousand, you know I mean? That's nothing to a billion dollar company. So it should be free. If it's, if, if it's the small amount that you claim, which I think is BS. And the game is already heavily discounted by the winter fall season 30 40 percent off anyway so if you waited a couple months you're gonna get it for that price anyway you know so i, I it's basically saying we know as this, this mad 23 was a complete disaster but you'll be back next year so here's a discount you know it's just like so it's a half check for that one i, I don't even think I, I don't i can't so in any of these i can't really give like a thumbs up say oh this is really good for the community you know it's giving us things we already wanted or she had or and also you know giving us a discount that we would get anyway if we just waited a couple months or and really it should be people that are affected and lost their data like this it should be free i mean like pretty much any other thing if i if i took my phone to get fixed and rise and they released erased all my cloud data and everything I'm getting a free phone in that deal. Like you're gonna, <laughs> like, I'm not leaving there until you know I'm I'm getting some cold hard cash back, and it's not gonna be, it's gonna be more than fifty percent. So uh, going forward, EA suggests making all EA account information up to date with current email addresses and what's platform preference. So um, you know that's how it kind of work when you get that discount. I'm assuming it'll be some kind of digital discount or coupon you can use, and if you order uh, the physical versions, you know for that fifty percent off. But I'm pushing, I feel like, you know, it should be more than that. But let me know in the comment section below, will you guys take hashtag the handout? Are you taking the handout or are you rejecting it and just saying, no, I'm not buying the game? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe for more here at me and SGL, The Natural, I'm out.